Hello everyone. Welcome back to key to learn In this video, we are going to discuss about What is an ethical hacking? Who is an ethical hacker? What is certified ethical hacking? How to become a certified ethical hacker? Certified ethical hacker certification types About the CEH course CEH course objectives About the CEH modules Topics you will cover in CEH training. Different CEH job roles. Now, let's start with the topic, what is an ethical hacking? Ethical hacking, also known as penetration testing or pen testing, is legally breaking into computers and devices to test an organization's defenses. It's among the most exciting IT jobs any person can be involved in. You are literally getting paid to keep up with the latest technology and get to break into computers without the threat of being arrested. Companies engage ethical hackers to identify vulnerabilities in their systems. From the penetration testers point of view, there is no downside, if you hack in past the current defenses, you've given the client a chance to close the hole before an attacker discovers it. If you don't find anything, your client is even happier because they now get to declare their system secure enough that even paid hackers couldn't break into it. The next topic is, who is an ethical hacker? An ethical hacker is a skilled professional who has excellent technical knowledge and skills, and knows how to identify and exploit vulnerabilities in target systems. He works with the permission of the owners of systems. An ethical hacker must comply with the rules of the target organization or owner and the law of the land and their aim is to assess the security posture of a target organization slash system. Next topic is, what is Certified Ethical Hacker, CEH? The CEH, Certified Ethical Hacker provides an in-depth understanding of ethical hacking phases, various attack vectors, and preventative countermeasures. It will teach you how hackers think and act so you will be better positioned to set up your security infrastructure and defend against attacks. By providing an understanding of system weaknesses and vulnerabilities, the CEH course helps students learn to protect their organizations and strengthen their security controls in order to minimize the risk of a malicious attack. CEH was built to incorporate a hands-on environment and systematic process across each ethical hacking domain and methodology, giving you the opportunity to work toward proving the required knowledge and skills needed to achieve the CEH credential and perform the job of an ethical hacker. Now in its 11th version, CEH continues to evolve with the latest operating systems, tools, tactics, exploits, and technologies. Next topic is, how to become Certified Ethical Hacker The Certified Ethical Hacker, CEH, credentialing and training program provided by EC Council is a respected and trusted ethical hacking program in the industry. Since the inception of Certified Ethical Hacker in 2003, the credential has become one of the best options for industries and companies across the world. The CEH exam is ANSI 17024 compliant, adding value and credibility to credential members. It is also listed as a baseline certification in the U.S. Department of Defense, DOD, Directive 8570 and is a NSCS certified training. Today, you can find certified ethical hackers working with some of the finest and largest companies across industries like healthcare, financial, government, energy and much more. Students who have a minimum of two years of security-related job experience can apply for approval to take the EC Council exam. Those without two years of experience will be required to attend training at an accredited training center, through an approved online program, or at an approved academic institutions like, SimpliLearn, Cross Security, Arizona Infotech, Hacker School. As of now, the courseware price for the 5-day certification course was $850, that is 62,372 Indian rupees. The application fee was $100, that is 7,338 Indian rupees. And the exam voucher price was $950, that is 69,710 Indian rupees. Next topic is, 
Types of CEH Exams Certified Ethical Hacker CEH ANSI Exam and Certified Ethical Hacker CEH Practical Exam The CEH exam also known as ANSI is a multiple choice exam consists of 125 questions and a duration of 4 hours It is a closed book test The CEH practical is a hands-on exam consists of 20 challenges a time duration of 6 hours delivering through EC Council's Aspen iLabs environment and is an open book test about Ketified Ethical Hacker Course The CEH credential is a vendor-neutral certification for information technology professionals who wish to specialize in stopping and identifying malicious hackers by using the same knowledge and tools the criminals use. Even before the credential was introduced, private firms and government agencies were hiring reformed malicious hackers because they believed that was the best method for securing their networks. The CEH credential takes this a step further by requiring those who earn it to agree in writing to abide by the law and honor a code of ethics. The credential is sponsored by the International Council of E-Commerce Consultants, EC Council, a member-supported professional organization. Its goal, according to its website, is to establish and maintain standards and credentials for ethical hacking as a profession and to educate IT professionals and the public on the role and value of such specialists. In addition to CEH certification, the EC Council offers several other certifications relevant for network security jobs, as well as those for secure programming, e-business, and computer forensics jobs. Course Objectives The different course objectives are Information security controls, laws, and standards, various types of footprinting, footprinting tools, and countermeasures. Network scanning techniques and scanning countermeasures. Enumeration techniques and enumeration countermeasures. Vulnerability analysis, to identify security loopholes in the target organization's network, communication infrastructure, and end systems. System hacking methodology, steganography, steganalysis attacks, and covering tracks to discover system and network vulnerabilities. Different types of malware, trojan, virus, worms, etc. System auditing for malware attacks, malware analysis, and countermeasures. Packet sniffing techniques to discover network vulnerabilities and countermeasures to defend against sniffing. Social engineering techniques and how to identify theft attacks to audit human level vulnerabilities and social engineering countermeasures. DOS and DDoS attack techniques and tools to audit a target, and DOS and DDoS countermeasures. Session hijacking techniques to discover network level session management, authentication and authorization, and cryptographic weaknesses and countermeasures. Web server attacks and a comprehensive attack methodology to audit vulnerabilities in web server infrastructure, and countermeasures. Web application attacks, comprehensive web application hacking methodology to audit vulnerabilities in web applications, and countermeasures. SQL injection attack techniques, injection detection tools to detect SQL injection attempts, and countermeasures. Wireless encryption, wireless hacking methodology, wireless hacking tools, and Wi-Fi security tools, mobile platform attack vector, Android vulnerability exploitations, and mobile security guidelines and tools, firewall, IDS, and honeypot evasion techniques, evasion tools and techniques to audit a network perimeter for weaknesses, and countermeasures, cloud computing concepts, container technology, serverless computing, the working of various threats and attacks, and security techniques and tools. Penetration testing, security audit, vulnerability assessment, and penetration testing roadmap. Threats to IoT and OT platforms and defending IoT and OT devices. Cryptography ciphers, public key infrastructure, PKI, cryptography attacks, and cryptanalysis tools. CEH modules. There are 20 modules in CEH. Introduction to ethical hacking. Footprinting and reconnaissance. Scanning networks. Enumeration. Vulnerability analysis. System hacking. Malware threats. Sniffing. Social engineering. Denial of service. Session hijacking. 
evading IDS, firewalls, and honeypots. Hacking web servers. Hacking web applications. SQL injection. Hacking wireless networks. Hacking mobile platforms. IoT hacking. Cloud computing. Cryptography. The different job roles based on CEHR. Cybersecurity forensic analyst. Cybersecurity analyst. CND security specialist. CND fusion analyst. Cyber red team operator. Cyber network defense, CND, analyst. Cyber security forensic analyst. Computer network defense intrusion analyst. Cyber security engineer. Information security engineer. CND cyber analyst. Network security engineer. Cyber threat analyst. SOC security analyst. Information security analyst. IT security compliance specialist. Global security assurance analyst. Security analyst tier 3. Security operations analyst. Security incident response analyst. Penetration Esther. Vulnerability Analyst. Security Information Assurance Analyst. Technical Security Analyst. Information Security Manager. Risk and Remediation Manager. Systems Administrator. Cybersecurity Network Analyst. Cybersecurity Vulnerability Analyst. Risk Assessment Security Consultant. Security Architect, Manager. Application Security Analyst. Cyber Security System Engineer. Software Security Analyst. Network Analyst. Information System Security Officer. SOC Security Analyst. Cyber Security Engineer. Senior Cyber Security Monitoring Analyst. Cyber Security Incident Response Engineer. L2 Security Analyst. Technical Operations Network Engineer. IT Security Administrator. And many more. Yeah.